Welcome to the first video in this particular tutorial series on Python for beginners essentially. So it's the first tutorial series I'm making and this is the very first video in which I'm going to show you how to actually download and install the latest version of Python onto your computer. And the reason I picked Python to do my first programming tutorial series with rather than you know any of the multitude of other languages on on the sort of internet at the moment is because I think Python is a really intuitive easy language for beginners to learn in comparison to other languages and it's still a very versatile language and by no means is it only for beginners so it's also used extensively in industry and it's a very very versatile language I also want to point out just quickly that Python, the programming language, is completely independent of what operating system you're running it on. So it doesn't really matter if you have Windows or Mac or Linux. You can still follow this installation process and it will be pretty much the same. So I'm going to be using Mac OS throughout this tutorial series because that's personally what I prefer but you feel free to follow along whatever operating system you prefer or whatever happens to be available to you. So if you want to use Windows or Linux then that's absolutely fine and most of the things is going to be the same. As long as you've got the same version of Python, the actual Python code that you're typing, you know, once you've got over that installation process, should be exactly the same. Uh, it's just really the installation process that might be slightly different, but if you go and follow this tutorial uh, the steps are basically the same, so it should work if you're on Windows as well. So I think we're going to get started with the installation process. So you can see on my Mac I'm just going to go to Safari here and then I'm going to go to python.org uh, So then we can go to downloads and you just want to get the latest version of Python so you can click on that and it's just downloading here, you can see it in my downloads folder and so now that's done we can click on that and we can just go through this basic installation process it's always good to get the latest version of Python installed so we'll just install that on my hard drive, it doesn't take very much space at all it's just the sort of bare bones, all you need to sort of start programming in Python that's fine, we'll just go ahead and install that um, just wait for that to complete. Okay, so that's great. You can see that Python is now installed and we can close this now. And it says, do you want to move the install to the trash? We can do that because we don't need it anymore because we've just installed Python. So the install was just used for that initial setup process. Okay, and now the easiest thing you want to do to access Python, now that you've got it installed on your computer, is go up to this top bar where it says go click on that and then go to your applications folder this is just one particular way that you can do it, there's also other ways of finding it, you can just use Spotlight to search for it for example uh, but then you're looking for the folder called Python 3.5 click on that and then we want this IDLE application uh, and we can click on that and what's going to open is the Python shell so this is a really good place to actually try out new bits of Python that you sort of maybe aren't sure how it works quite yet or um, you just sort of want to experiment and see to try out new concepts this is a fantastic place to do it and it's where we're going to spend a lot of time in the sort of beginning stages of our learning process for Python so so you'll, you'll probably get quite familiar with this screen because it's where we're going to experiment with things and talk about new Python concepts that you might not be aware of currently because this is a beginner series so I don't expect you to have any prior no knowledge on the subject. So you've now got a place where you can actually type valid Python code and what the computer will do is take what you've written and essentially do what's called interpret it which basically means take that line and process it and then output the result of whatever you've typed in. So that's that's really all you have to do to be able to get to that point so you've got the prompt there and you're ready to start typing in valid Python code so in the next tutorial we're actually going to start writing our own Python code in the Python shell which you've just uh, hopefully downloaded and installed successfully on your computer and if you did congratulations because that's the first step in being able to actually you know write your own software 
is creating the developer environment to do that. So we're going to cover strings in the next tutorial.